Today we're driving a pair of cars that are perfectly matched in terms of price, practicality and performance, but are complete polar opposites under the skin. From one of the oldest car manufacturers in the world to one of the very newest. Will it be the all-Italian Alpha Flare or the futuristic Tesla to be the one that puts a smile on our faces? So this is it, the Tesla 3, the model that's going to bring the company into a profit-making situation. Of course, we've already had the Tesla S, the very impressive executive saloon. We've had the Tesla X, the very impressive big SUV with its gullwing doors. But this is the one they need to sell hundreds of thousands of to make the money. We've got an engine in the front, an engine in the back, and a combination equivalent to about 450 horsepower and a range of over 300 miles. I'm obviously in a left-hand drive version because the right-hand versions are only just arriving in the UK. So here we go inside the Julia Quadrifoglio and I have to say it's all very nice. It's laid out very well, ergonomically everything works, it's in the right place where it should be, which sounds obvious in a car but it's not always the way these days. It is nice to see a bit of zest and vigour back in Alfa Romeo's portfolio, that's for sure. And they've, they've really upped their game all of a sudden with the likes of the Stelvio and now with this Giulio as well. There's not much you can complain about, but not much you can do. It's this famous centre console that controls everything almost, apart from indicators and gear selection. It's to one side which means ahead of me I've just got a very white and very glary dashboard. <laughs> Obviously there'll be other trim options, but I wouldn't choose this one. I was worried that the speedometer was only going to be in the centre screen. It is in the centre screen, but it's just in the top left corner, so I can see it quite easily. I'd still prefer it in the middle, but it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, alarm, alarm. Oh, both pedals pressed. Wow. Well, sometimes with left foot braking, which is quite a safe way to do, I actually do have a little bit of throttle left on. I'm braking that. Oh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that at all. 0 to 62 miles an hour, 3.9 seconds. So it's, it's definitely no slouch. And it's got a top speed of 191 miles an hour, which I can't imagine driving on these bumpy little roads, what that must be like. But of course, on a flat autobahn, it might be a different story as I dodge yet another sheep. It's got this eight-speed automatic gearbox with collar-mounted paddles, and it's got a single clutch, which a lot of people don't like, and sometimes you just want it to snap into gear that little bit quicker. It takes a little bit longer than maybe you would want it to, to be a real, true racing pedigree car. But don't get me wrong, there's not much wrong with it. <laughs> Certainly as a road car, you know, this is lovely. It just doesn't involve me enough as a driver. That's my problem. I haven't got enough dials and things to do, and there's no neat little clocks. There's no nice little knurled air vents and stuff. And I think I need some of those. This is exciting. This is exciting enough for everyday driving. Wow, these roads are great, but it looks like it's going to rain later, so I'm going to make the most of this, that's for sure. <laughs> following Paul. His engine all sounds exciting. Hello Paul. Hello Tiff. I'm getting a bit bored in this test. I haven't got any knobs to turn or wipers to flick and dials. I've got nothing to do and I'm getting glared at by a white panel that's reflecting the sun. Well your Tesla looks good and I'm having a lot of fun in this I can confirm. Tiff, but the Tesla's fun as well. Let's pull over here and I'll show you what I mean. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, when you say fun, I've been getting a bit bored. I mean, really? I mean, well, I can do the wipers without looking away, and I can just about do my fan and mid-temperature, but I can't stop 
oh, finding things this, on the screen when I'm driving. This is amazing. You want to see some fun? Proper fun. These guys had a sense of humour. Look at this. These are called your Easter eggs. Oh. Now, there's lots of different things you can do. You can play games. You can draw. You can put, draw your oh, name. Okay. Yeah, have oh, a go on that. Oh, oh yes. Sign so, my name. Sign into my car. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Let's exit that. Um, and there's a couple of other very fun, interesting things. I don't know how they got this signed off on a board meeting, but if you're a little bit quiet now, listen to this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I no. love it. Okay, I've turned that off completely. Thank you. Uh, what else have we got that you might like? Um, roaring fireplace. Oh, that reminds me it of gets, home. It gets That's even nice. better. What? Listen to this. That's enough romance with you. <laughs> that was quite nice. I like that. That was fun, but the real fun begins now right. because we're going to go to a racetrack. A racetrack? Yes. And we better now be quick you're because. Talking. Look, Tiff, black clouds ahead. Okay, we can have fun on the racetrack. A lot of fun. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so grumpy. Paul, I thought you said everything switched off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I leave that on? It's a pure mistake that when you indicate now, it just makes this little fun noise in your car. <laughs> but how do I switch it off? Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'll have to have a look when we get to the racetrack. It's only about an hour away. Come on, Tiff, put your foot down. En route, I decided I'd introduce a drag race, as I know Tiff loves them so much. But the weather had other ideas. Now, the great British weather has well and truly scuppered any chance whatsoever this Alpha had of beating the Tesla because it's absolutely pouring down. And that's got all-wheel drive, and this has got real-wheel drive. And I did, I honestly did have a look in the boot to see if there's a spare wheel that I could take out. I think if I had a span, I'd take the seats out because I cannot stand losing to Tiff. Oh, nice of you to join me. Where, where have you been? Had to make a quick phone call. Are you ready? I know what he was doing. He was over there practicing starts using all his modes. He knows he's beaten. Look at him. He's all animated. He's probably saying something really smug and clever. I think I'll have track mode. Yes, please. Into D. And he's had it. Are you ready? Look at those lights and get ready. Okay, Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to even stand a chance here. In fact, I think I've got one chance. <laughs> What now? What? Oh, you, you, oh, I'm getting wet now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You still can't win, even when you cheat. <laughs> this is just, just annihilates him. Four wheel drive, rear wheel drive. He had no chance, let's face it. Oh, it's too wet. I got no chance. <laughs> All I heard was your little wheels spinning and your engine. And revs going up and down and up and down as I just drove past. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry for that little bit of uh, improvisation at the start, but that's all I could think of to get a bit of a jump on you. Cheats never prosper. Cheats never prosper. <laughs> hey, how do you fancy sitting alongside? Right, let's do some laps in the Tesla and see how well it handles. Just when I drove round to the start of our drag race, I can feel the grip. Look, this is a wet track, and you could just, I've got it in track mode, and you could just launch it. I mean, it's a heavy car, what, 1,800 kilos, or over 1,800, but look at that. You're not going to get anything like but that in the Alpha. But I can trust it. It's lovely brake pedal feel. I well, thought this well, would feel well. like a lumbering old giant. Well, I never thought I'd hear you excited about driving I know. a Tesla like this. But this, it's... this has been a revelation. I knew it would be quick in the drag race, but this is revelation. It's light, but isn't responsive. This brilliant, though, Tiff. This is what sure everybody wants. Footed. We don't just want a car to go fast in a straight line. This is what a car's all about. 
Right, let's go get the Alpha. I know, I'm, I think I'm going to no, drive no, the Alpha. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll again do the laps in the Alpha, boys. <laughs> it's a laps. dry track now. It's not <laughs> dry enough for about. you with me oh, sitting beside okay, you. Okay, Dad, here we go. I'm still blinded by this glare. The sun's <laughs> come out again now, and this glare. Who wants a white... Feels frisky <laughs> compared with the Tesla. Whoa, Whoa. we don't want to go. Whoa, there we go again. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so this is going to be a bit more. You see, this is what the Tesla misses. You see the, the driving. <laughs> You're supposed to be getting a fast lap, not going Good. sideways. Break, I'm a break, driver break, break. that wants to be challenged, and this is certainly already beginning to make me feel a bit. Oh, I'm going to have to do something here. <laughs> this law, right I don't want you to be though. too challenged here. I want you. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's threatening to throw us off the road at any minute whereas the Tesla was just sticking and gluing. <laughs> Nothing Have you got a lap time then? I'm going to throw this away. There's no point getting a lap time here. How much slower am I? I've been huffing and puffing. It's, it's a few seconds slower than the Tesla. A few seconds? A few seconds slower. But come on, you were going sideways. You were I wasn't it. going sideways. I was merely controlling <laughs> the sliding of the car as a driver has to do. The Tesla was different. Great How much here. slower? 3.1 seconds. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You see, you can't have that sort of fun in the Tesla. And this is the, this is the difference. One is an amazingly compressed electric powered machine of the future, whereas this is still the heartbeat of Italian driving that challenges me and gives me dials and needles and numbers and all the things that give me enjoyment as a driver. But neither can be said to be the better car, can it? There's no better car here. They're both truly amazing and they're the same price point but they're completely different as well. Completely different.